Sunday. Welcome to our very last um, Sunday sun salutation. You get a treat today. We're going to do a little bit of slow flow to wake you up. And we're going to do a visualization as well as a reward for joining me each Sunday. So I hope you're feeling fit and healthy. And if you're ready, we'll begin. So just start in a sitting position today. So it may be that you're on a cushion, um, sitting with a straight spine. If cross-legged doesn't do it for you, do you know what? You don't need to do it. We can sit any which way we want. But just see if we can sit with a little bit of a straighter spine than usual. Just sitting and pulling up. And when we're ready, I'm going to ask you to bring your eyes to close. So just close the eyes and see if we can just focus on the breath. A nice big inhale. Exhale, just to get this sense of centering, of embodying the breath, embodying, coming to the body. Relaxing the shoulders, noticing if there's any tension at all. What about the jaw? Noticing if we're holding tension in the jaw. Noticing how the head is. If you've been out last night, maybe a little fuzzy. You may be feeling a little sluggish bored of, uh, of lockdown or you may be feeling anxious. There's quite a lot going on at the moment. So just note, how are you? And if you notice that your mind is sort of jumping around, if you feel harried, if you've got a busy day, just keep your palms of the hands down on your knees. Just ask for a little bit more grounding. And if you're feeling really tired and mentally sluggish, just turn the palms up on the knees. Just ask for a little bit more lightness. And we're just going to take three more breaths. You can count them if you want. Anything that connects you with the breath rather than your thoughts. And then we're just going to bring the hands to prayer. And we're going to rub the hands together and see if you can feel the heat that's generated as you rub together your hands. Give that your full attention. This is a great mindfulness exercise. And then just pop the hands over your eyes. So you open up the eyes into that dark space of your hands. Open up the fingers. Let the light in. And then draw the hands down. And we're going to inhale and stretch. Inhale. Looking up at the ceiling, exhale, looking at the tummy. Inhale. Exhale, looking at your tummy. Inhale. Exhale, just noticing how nice it is to move for the last time. And then just bringing the fingertips down to the ground, right hand, left knee, and twist to face the back of the room. Nice big sitting up straight as we inhale. Exhale, finding that twist. Releasing the shoulders down. Even the eyes are going to the back of the room here. We're twisting everything around the spine. And then we'll come all the way back around to the midpoint and let's go around to the other side. Inhale and exhale. Just taking the time to properly stretch. And the breath stretches us as well. So don't miss out the importance of Breathing deep and then come all the way back around to the midpoint. Let's take our hands to the floor and just uh, round the spine this time. So we're looking back to the tummy and just seeing where that, where we really feel the intense stretch today. It may be the back of the neck, it may be the thighs, it may just be sore on the ankles. We're putting pressure on it and breathe there and then walking the hands all the way back. Very good. We're just going to bring ourselves into our all four position, ready for our thread the needle. So another twist today, we're going to just take the left hand and thread the needle through between the right wrist and right knee. So the left shoulder is coming down to the floor and then lift up the right arm. So you're making this L shape. Just watch the head and the neck. You might need to move the neck, so move the head so the neck's in a more comfortable position. And then we may well have moved all the weight over to our right knee. Let's balance that up and that gives us more of a twist. So have the weight evenly 
between the right and the left knee and just breathe into the right lung for me. Inhale. Exhale. Next time we exhale, let's bring that arm down and we'll come all the way back up. Keep that left hand moving through and take it up to the left hand side. Inhale, and then as we exhale, we're swooping back down, just a little mini twist. Don't raise the right arm, and then come all the way back up to our all fours position, and just do a couple of cat cows. Inhale, and exhale. We're getting really good at cat cows if we've done all the sessions here. And then let's do that supine, that spinal twist, sorry, on the other side. So keep left hand on the mat, right hand just threads in between the left wrist and the left knee and then we lift the left arm from the floor. So my right shoulder's on the ground. I'm going to even up the weight because it's all travelled over to my right knee this time. So just making sure that the twist is in my thoracic spine, this part of the body. I'm going to move my head a little bit. It's not very comfortable on my neck. But now breathing into the left lung. Taking a nice inhale and exhale. So if you've done lots of weights, if you're used to doing HIT and other exercise classes and, uh, and lots of strength and conditioning, just take this time for another type of exercise, a breathing exercise. And then as I exhale, just bring this left hand down to the ground, pushing through, following with my eyes and my right arm, Take it up as far as it will go, and then exhale, just a little mini spinal twist, and then coming all the way back to hands and knees, and just doing a couple of cat cows. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And then we did this exercise just at the beginning, one of the early sessions. Just stick your right knee, sorry, your right foot out uh, behind you, and bring the right heel to the back of the room. We're just going to put that right foot over the bottom of the left leg and look over your left shoulder. Bring the right heel towards your nose. I know it won't travel very far, but what we're doing is just creating a big stretch all the way through the side of the body. Inhaling and exhaling. See if that feels good. And then as we exhale, just bring that knee all the way back. And then let's do the other side. So the left foot extends behind you. Bring the heel to the back of the room. And then cross over the bottom of the right leg and look behind you. So you want to bring the left heel forward and take the head as much as it can to look at the left leg. So we've got this big stretch all the way through the left side body this time. Inhaling and exhaling. One more breath. Really expand the lungs. And then bring that foot all the way back. Good. And just drop down into child's pose. So we're working again on the sides of the body today. So just walk the hands round to the right hand side. Look under the right armpit and breathe into the left lung. Inhale and exhale. So this is a really nice stretch for the intercostal muscles. There's the muscles in between each of the ribs. And if we have you know, sticky ribs, if we can't breathe properly, we can't re-oxygenate, it's very hard to restore. So bring the hands back to the midpoint and then go around to the other side. We'll look under the left armpit and just breathe into the right side body. A nice big inhale and exhale. And make sure that the shoulders aren't up by the ears. They will be a little bit, but just see if you can be relaxed in the shoulders. And then bring the hands back around to the midpoint. We're going to come up into our down dog position. So tuck the toes under and just find a nice easy dog today. An easy dog. Just wondering what an easy dog looks like. Let's pad the feet and swing the hips. So we call this walking the dog. So Walk that easy dog and just push the heels down. Let's drop the knees down to the ground again. Just step through with the right foot and come up into a nice lunge position. Just before we do our sun salutations, 
So just roll the shoulders back. Take the left hand high. Breathe in as if you exhale. Stretch up and over to the, to the right hand side. So again, we're working on this side body today in our warm up. Nice big inhale. And exhale. I'm going to leave you here for one more breath. See if we can move a little bit more, increase that stretch. And then as we exhale, come all the way up, bring the left hand down, and look up at the fingers of the right hand. If you want to work at a higher level, just tuck the toes under and lift that arm high. Sorry, that leg high. And the knee is up. And we're breathing. So if you're not breathing, breathe out, breathe it again. And then as you exhale, let's drop that hand, lower the knee, and we're just going to swap it around today. So the left foot comes through in between the hands and find that lunge. So don't worry if you don't feel very lungy. It might be enough just to stretch the hip flexors here. Otherwise, just heel toe forward and we're coming into a nice deep lunge. Again, make sure that the knee doesn't come over the ankle. We're keeping some strength. Right arm rises, row an inch, and then exhale. Bring in this lovely right side stretch and breathe into these intercostal muscles. So if you can feel your ribs as we inhale, the ribs separate, exhale. As the lungs decrease, they come back together. And then on the next exhale, we're just going to bring the body upright, drop the hand, and look up at the fingers of the left hand. It's a nice twist. Inhaling and exhaling. Dropping the shoulders down, make sure they're not too tense or up by the ears. And then drop that hand down. Let's go back into down dog, tuck the toes under, and push through. And as we inhale, rise up onto the toes. As you exhale, push the heels down. Two more times. Healthy 
straight spine. Keep breathing. Feeling strong. And then as we inhale, let's walk, or if you follow me, steps. So I'm raising my left foot, crunching each of those, stepping it through, meeting in a half rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, pushing the floor away, bringing the hands to prayer, and bringing, um, bringing up, yeah, hands to prayer. Inhale, hands come up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half rise. I'm going to do a little jump this time. So see if we can, if you want to follow me, either step back or plant the hands and shoot the feet back into our high plank. We're just going to shatter like it up. Inhale, exhale, and then do a little bit of core work just so we feel that we've worked. Lift up the right leg and crunch knee into those as you exhale. Inhale, send it back. And then into the right elbow and send it back. And into the left elbow and send it back. And then crunch knee into those, step that foot all the way through and spin up into our lovely warrior two just to open up the hips. So feeling strong, feeling in control. We're going to turn the front palm, come back into our reverse warrior. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale. And then as we inhale, let's windmill the hands down. We're going to find our lizard. We do this most weeks. So just bring the right foot to the side of the mat and take a couple of breaths, either with the back knee raised or on the mat. I don't mind. Inhaling and exhaling. I quite like this one, Twisted Lizard. So just bring your left hand into the centre of the mat and look behind you. So I'm just taking my right hand to my hip and looking behind. Really good for, again, this rugby, passing it back. Let's load the muscles so we remember the moves. Inhaling and exhaling. And then bring the hands to the mat. We're going to tuck the back toes under and come back into our down dog. Lift up that left leg. As you exhale, crunch knee to nose and then send it back. And then crunch into the left elbow and send it back. And then the right elbow and send it back. And then crunch knee to nose, step that foot through, grounding the right foot this time. And we find our warrior two. Stretch through the fingers. And then turn the front palm and come back into our reverse warrior on the other side. So again, we've got this lateral stretch going on. We're really working on that today. If we can, a little bit more lunge. And then as you exhale, we're going to windmill the hands and find that lizard again. Really nice just to open up the hips. So if you can, we keep that back knee raised. Otherwise, that back knee goes to the floor. And we just open up the heart space and take a breath. Let's bring our right hand into the centre of the mat and look behind us. Don't forget to breathe. If you're not sure if you're breathing, breathe out. And then breathe in again. And then as we exhale, let's bring our hands back and we'll find our dog again. So tuck the toes under and just come back into our down dog. Good one for strength here. Just release the left hand from the mat and grab somewhere on the right leg. So, you know, it might be up here at the thigh. It might be down at the calf. You might be able to reach the ankle. But just bend that left elbow and draw the body around. A lovely big twist. Inhale. And exhale. Either replace that hand or if you can stay here, do so. One more breath. And then as you exhale, replace that hand and let's go the other side. So you might find that your hand goes in another place on your left leg. So right hand, left leg, bend the elbow and really wrench the body around. That's a word we don't often use in yoga. But keeping both heels pushed down towards the ground, just finding this lovely big crunch and twist. Take a breath. And then bringing ourselves all the way back. And then we're just going to come down onto our knees and sink down into child's pose just to give our back a rest. I'm bringing my hands back to my toes and rolling up onto the crown of my head. So, little challenge.
challenge here for our last week. We either stay here in pair, my shoulders are relaxed. This might be enough. If you want to challenge yourself, hands go onto the shoulders, tuck the toes under, and just lift the hips up. So guess where we're going with this? So my hands are under my shoulders. I'm making a tripod shape with my head at the top of the triangle. My hands aren't out here and my elbows aren't out here. We're nice and tight. See if you can walk your toes towards your nose. You might need to bend the knees. And maybe the right knee goes onto the right elbow. And maybe the left knee goes onto the left elbow. Check us out. We're in a little, little headstand. And just see if we can balance here. If you love a headstand and you're used to doing it with your kids, we can always push up from here and straighten your legs. But this might just be enough. It's really nice just to find a different perspective, have the weight of the world on our head instead of our feet. We're literally flipping everything upside down. We might find that we're able to just put right knee, right elbow, and then put it down, and then left knee, left now, elbow, put it down. Either way, wherever you are, take one more breath, and then we'll put our knees down to the ground and sink back into child's pose. Well done. Let's take our hands behind us and just let the energy settle. A nice big inhale and exhale. And then we'll take our hands under our shoulders and just push up. Hopefully they're not red in the face after all. The blood has drained to my face. We'll swizzle ourselves around and come to sitting down and just lie down on the mat. So we're going to do some nice big circles with the knees just to stretch and massage the back. All the muscles of the back just getting a nice little uh, massage by the floor. And then we'll just pop the soles of the feet to the floor. Well done. Last, a hamstring stretch, as I've asked so often for hamstring stretches. Just rise the right leg up and just hold maybe the back of the thigh if you're not feeling too flexible today. Or maybe you can take our hands somewhere, anywhere, on the leg. Make sure your feet are flexed, that means that the, the toes are curled up rather than pointed. And that stretches through the back of the body. We're just going to take a moment just to take five breaths. So inhale, inflate the belly, exhale, draw that foot further over. So at some point this toe is going to go behind you and onto the floor. Oh yes it is. <laughs> Nice big inhale and exhale. Just enjoy that hamstring stretch. Maybe channel the word release as you exhale. Say release rather than striving. And you might find some shakes and wobbles going on. You know, that's all right, that's all part of it. We're just stretching these muscles. Make sure the breath isn't too quick or laboured. And as you exhale, let's drop that leg down. Let's do the other leg. So just rise the left leg up. And you might find this is easier or harder to do. So don't worry if you're holding here. I know it's maybe not that easy. But with each exhale, we're just going to bend the elbows and draw that foot. Draw the leg closer to the chest. Draw the foot closer to the floor behind your head. Nice big inhale. And as we exhale, just work. Think about releasing. There's lines of fascia that work through the body. So that's a watery web that sports physiotherapists are very interested in at the moment because we need a nice stretchy fascia as well as stretchy muscles. And when you get a knot in the muscle, the right name for this you'll know is fasciitis. So we're just wanting to relax and release and stretch, just allow everything to soften rather than be striving. So as we exhale, just drop that leg down. Well done, nice hamstring stretch. Just bring the soles of the feet to the floor, drop the knees over to the right, and take the head to the left. And breathe out. As we breathe in, bring the knees up. 
then let go to the other side. So we're just relaxing into a supine twist. And just notice how you feel. And then just bring the knees upright and lay the body down. Just relax to the supine on the mat. So if you feel in any way unbalanced, if you want to do a little bit of unraveling, now is the time to do so. Otherwise, lie nice and square on the mat. And if you can, just bring the eyes to close. And just allow yourself to be centered. So allow the body to take some biofeedback here. What is the result on the body of our yoga practice? Just come back now to the horizon line. Just find that 
sighing out. Two more times. Lovely to spend the time with you. Namaste.